everyone my name is manika hey. and i am aerospace engineer i am working with aircrease aviation as a aviation manager so today i will be talking about how to become an ame in india so let's get started with the today's presentation that how to become an ame in india so this is my bio you can follow me on the social media also so the overview of the today's topic is what is ame that is aircraft maintenance engineering what are the education qualification the age medical fitness course structure and the scheme job opportunities as well as the duty of an aircraft maintenance engineer so let us have a look about what is ame all about so aircraft maintenance engineering is not a degree or a diploma course but a training program on completion of a training a license is issued by dgca that is directorate general of civil aviation the aircraft engineers mainly deal with the construction maintenance and the repair of the aircraft so this is the basic knowledge about the aircraft maintenance engineering so let us talk about the education qualification required for this particular training a person should have done 10 and 12 in physics chemistry as well as in maths and equivalent a 3 years aicte approved diploma in engineering and any higher qualification in science with physics as well as mathematics so this is a picture Uh, which shows that what and uh, what is the role of an aircraft maintenance engineer which is that to maintain or produce, uh, maintain the aircraft structures so now we will talk about the age requirement for this particular training so to get into this training a person should be 16 years 16 years of age and if i talk about the medical fitness so before the admission trainee should undergo through the medical examination by a doctor possessing at least mbbs degree approved by the college format as dgca has already set up some formats for which a person should go under medical fitness so that should be approved by a mbbs doctor so in this video you can see how a person is working with an engine so these are the all tasks which are generally uh, uh, done by the aircraft maintenance engineer so here you can see a wide picture and you can have a good knowledge like how a work is done by aircraft maintenance engineer now we will talk about the course structure and the scheme so this particular training has 3 years of training program which constitutes of theoretical as well as practical training with 6 months on the on job training on fully operational aircraft so in order to conduct this course a person is needed to have a 3 years of training and the last 6 months should be on job training on the fully operational aircraft so here we can see how the training sessions are done and their trainees are given full knowledge how to maintain how to uh, how to do the work with the engines so these pictures are all about the functions which are done by the aircraft maintenance engineers so now we will talk about the job opportunities so those who successfully completed the training and obtained dgc license are eligible to get job in airports and aircraft manufacturing or maintenance firm with an attractive salary so to get a job a person should initially have a dgc license which is basically known as bamel bamel is basically a basic aircraft maintenance engineering license which is issued by the dgca and which is the primary license for a person to get into the aircraft manufacturing or maintenance firms and a person getting into this ame field is offered with the attractive salary also so now we will talk about the duties of aircraft maintenance engineer so there are several duties which are performed by the aircraft engineers so now we will have a look on some of them the first one here is 
Before an aircraft flies, it has to be checked by an aircraft maintenance engineer that the aircraft is fit for fly or not. As we know that after each landing, the, uh, the aircraft has to undergo some checks. That is, uh, each and every part, like from the maintenance to the avionic systems, each and every thing is checked, every instrument as well as the every hydraulics and machines, everything is to be checked by the maintenance engineers. The second point is the aircraft cannot fly without the permission and a certificate from aircraft maintenance in engineer. So this means like after every landing, the aircraft undergoes checking, uh, which is checked by the AME always. And if the aircraft is fit to fly, then an AME is uh, then an AME gives a certificate, which means that aircraft has the permission to fly again. The third point here is the maintenance engineer certifies and issues the airworthiness certificate for flying the aircraft. So by this point, we mean that the aircraft is fit to fly in the air. So there is no issue in the aircraft and each and every part is uh, okay. So the aircraft is fly, fit to fly in the air. So here we can see a picture which is showing that an instructor is teaching and training the students and telling about that how the various functions are to be done, which part is to be checked and how it is to be done. So a wide, a wide training knowledge is given to the students. And in this picture, we can see a man ha having a manual so these manual contains each and every point that how a maintenance work is to be done, which rules and guides has to be followed. So that is how each and everything is done by rules. So if I have to give a wide view about AME, so AME is all about the maintenance, the repair or the overhaul of an aircraft, which we can clearly see from this picture. So various parts of an aircraft are being inspected by the aircraft maintenance engineer, like some of them are checking the landing gear, some of them are in the cockpit, some of them are looking into engine. So inspections are going on in the various parts of the aircraft and which is a necessary point which has done after every landing of an aircraft. So this is all about uh, my bio. So that was all about the today's presentation. Thank you so much for listening to me.